Welcome to I Like Drumline. We, we re okay, let me try again. Welcome to I Like Drumline. On our next example, we may not realize immediately that this is actually the difference of cubes. So, but if we rewrite it, we can see that it's actually the same form of what we have over there, which is the general form of the difference of cubes. 27 can be written as 3 quantity cubed, and 64x cubed can be written as 4x quantity cubed. And now we can see that this is clearly the difference of cubes. Now, when we then make a comparison, if we let a equals 3 and b equals 4x, then all we have to do is substitute that into our general formula for the form of the difference of cubes, and then we can factor that. So let's go ahead and do that. So first we need a minus b. Since a is 3 and b is 4x, we write 3 minus 4x. And then we multiply that times a squared, but since a is 3, we write 3 squared, plus a times b, that would be 3 times 4x, so that would be 3 times 4x, and plus at the end we have b squared, that would be the quantity 4x squared. And sometimes it's easier just to go ahead and write it like this first before you mentally multiply everything together, or once you feel comfortable, you can just go ahead and multiply it together right away, but this ensures we are less likely to make mistakes, so this becomes 3 minus 4x times 9 plus 12x plus, and that would be 16x squared. Now quickly, let's see if we can factor anything out. Doesn't look like we can. And that's then the final form of that 27 minus 64x cubed. And that is then the final form of our original problem, 27 minus 64x cubed. And that is how it's done.